Welcome back to Black Movie Recaps. Today I'm going to show you a action crime drama film from 2017 titled Kidnap. This is a spoiler content. Watch out and take care. The film starts with video clips recorded by Carla Dyson of her baby boy Frankie. The clips go on over the years as Frankie gets older, with Carla enjoying every minute with him. In the present, Carla is a single mother that works as a waitress at a diner to support herself and her six-year-old son Frankie. Whilst attending to a customer, Frankie reminds her that he promised they'd leave at 11. She tells him Agnes is not there yet so they'd have to wait a little longer. She has to deal with obnoxious customers while being short-staffed, including a family whose son whines about wanting hash browns, and a couple where the girlfriend is very rude and impatient with Carla. Carla's boss says they've reached Agnes and he'll be there in 15 minutes so she and Frankie can leave to spend the day together. On their way, Carla plays with Frankie and he asks her if the father would be coming with them. Carla tells him no and that he'd be seeing the father the following weekend. Carla takes Frankie to a carnival at the city park. Frankie asks her mom if he can get an ice cream and she tells him they should first check their options and come back later. As they move around, Frankie asks if he can get his face painted and Carla tells him they should come back when the line is shorter. While he runs around the playground, they play Marco Polo. The two then sit down to watch a show in the park when Carla gets a phone call. She leaves Frankie on the bench with his recording toy. Carla talks to her lawyer, who tells her that her estranged husband wants primary custody of Frankie. In between the calls, she keeps shouting Marco and Frankie responds Polo to make sure he's still there when Carla tries to argue against this, her battery dies and the call gets dropped. She returns and finds that Frankie is missing and tries to look for him, thinking he's hiding as he loves playing Marco Polo. She later finds out that he left his toy voice recorder behind on a bench. Carla asks other parents if they have seen him while she goes around shouting Marco repeatedly. Frantically searching for him, Carla goes to the parking lot and sees a woman pulling a screaming Frankie into a green Ford Mustang. Carla runs to the car and clings to the side until she falls off and her phone falls out of her bag after failing to do so. Carla then hops in her minivan and chases after the kidnappers. They ride through the parkway where the Mustang causes some accidents. Carla tries to alert other drivers to the incident once she realizes she's lost her phone. They get to a traffic stop where Carla gets out of her car and unsuccessfully tries to open the door. She tries to alert the other drivers who have their windows up and pay no attention to her. The light indicator switches to green and the kidnappers speed off again. She runs back to her car to follow them. She looses them and starts praying to God to help her find them when suddenly she realizes they're in front of a car that was blocking her from seeing them. Another car later blocks her from seeing them which makes Carla miss a turn when the kidnappers took a different lane. She drives in reverse on the highway, causing a number of minor accidents as she gets back on their tail. The woman then drops a toolbox on the road to get Carla off their tail. She later throws a tire into the open traffic, causing Carla to drive into another vehicle leading to a fatal accident but Carla and her car survive it. She hopes that someone has at least seen the SUV crush and alerted the media but to her disappointment, she hears nothing of such when she turns on her radio. As Carla gets closer, the kidnappers roll down the window so the woman can hold Frankie at knife point, forcing Carla to take a different route or he kills Frankie. Feeling threatened, Carla agrees to take the nest turn and continues to follow them off the parkway. After looking at Frankie's picture, she decides she won't let Frankie go as he joins and follow their tail. She finally hears a police hunt on the radio involving a minivan and thanks God. But later realize the police have got the wrong minivan when the reporter says the police have found a vehicle matching that description and she sees no police around her. She gets livid, shouting that's the wrong minivan when she hears the half subdued the suspect and ended the pursuit. Carla later listens to the recording toy and hears the female kidnapper talking to Frankie, making him believe his mom was looking for him. The kidnapper says her name is Margot. Carla sees a police officer on a motorcycle and tries to get his attention by driving erratically. The officer rides up and tells Carla to pull over, but once he gets between Carla and the kidnappers, the villains pin the officer between both cars and cause him to crash his motorcycle in a ditch. The kidnappers pull over onto a grassy field, and Carla stops too. After a moment of no action, the male kidnapper, Terence Vicky, steps out with his knife and runs toward Carla. She gets back into her car and reverses her car until Terence runs out of breath. Carla drives toward him as he runs but she doesn't strike him. Carla offers him money in return for Frankie and tells him she won't say anything to the cops either but also promises she won't stop looking for her son as long as he is in the car. After Terence picks her purse and runs back to the car, Margot goes to Carla's minivan and calmly tells her that she wants $10,000 in exchange for Frankie's safe return. She orders Carla to let her ride in the minivan so they can follow Terence, or he will kill Frankie. Carla reluctantly lets Margot inside. Carla follows Terence's car and as they go through a tunnel, Margot attacks Carla. Carla is able to fight her off and manages to throw her out of the minivan. 
Carla takes Margot's jacket to give Terence the impression she's still riding in the van while Margot tries to case them on foot. As Carla continues to follow, she got too close and Terence eventually figures that Margot is no longer with her so he threatens to drop Frankie out of his car, forcing Carla to stop her pursuit and she loses Terence's car. She passes a family fishing and tells them to call the cops on an 80 green Ford Mustang. Sometime later, Carla spots an accident Terence has caused that has led to a traffic jam. She drives through the field and runs to the car, only to see that Terence and Frankie are gone. One of the people in the accident tells Carla where Terence was running off to with the boy. Carla runs to a nearby police station to report the kidnapping and the officer at the desk tells her to wait, telling Carla they'll have cars looking for them in an hour. Devastated by the discovery, she asks to use the phone and leaves a message for the ex-husband. When suddenly Carla sees pictures of other missing children and drops the phone, some of whom have been gone for over a decade. Carla says all these people's family waited and worries Frankie will suffer the same fate. She storms out of the station to continue the search on her own. Carla goes by a parking lot where she sees Terence's jacket and later sees a black Volvo speeding out, realizing this is Terence and crashes into him. She chases him until Terence strikes a pedestrian. Another car almost hits this woman until Carla blocks the oncoming car with her own. She continued to chase after Terence and later sees an amber alert on a green Mustang. The police oblivious of the fact that he has switched the car. She continues to chase after Terence who tries to open his door again to threaten Carla but she manages to prevent that from happening. Her car is running out of fuel and stops in the middle of her pursuit. Carla then spots an authority vehicle on the road and tries to hitch a ride and tell him the way Terence went but he tells her that way is a dead end. Only for Terence to suddenly ram into the car, killing the other driver and knocking Carla unconscious. When Carla wakes up, she walks up to the Volvo but doesn't find Frankie in there. Terence emerges and proceeds to shoot at her. Carla runs back into her car and locks it but Terence breaks the window glass with his gun and tries to unlock the door. Carla pulls his hand and puts the car on reverse, with Terence getting pierced by multiple branches until the car hits a tree. Carla questions Terence over Frankie's whereabouts, but he doesn't live long to tell her anything. She then gets his wallet out and learns his name from his ID, plus his home address and decides to travel there thinking Frankie might be there. Sometime later, Carla locates Terence's house. She makes her way into the house, where she finds pictures of Terence and Margot, indicating they were married. The phone rings and Carla sneaks around as Margot is there. Margot talks on the phone to an accomplice, over where Terence is, and how Carla has become a problem for their operation. Margot leaves the house into a nearby van and Carla makes her way to find Frankie. She calls the police to give them the address and the operator says that officers will arrive within 7 to 15 minutes. Margot comes back inside and starts shouting Terence's name, asking if he was the one on the phone. She later realized her phone isn't there and her gun has been tampered with. Carla hides quietly as Margot keeps shouting Terence's name and leaves to go find him. Carla runs to a nearby barn where she finally finds Frankie. To her surprise, Frankie is there with two other abducted girls. Margot appears to realize that Terence is dead. She hears noise from the barn as Carla tries to get Frankie out of the place and refills her gun. Promising to come back, Carla and her son run by the lake. Margot sicks her dog on Carla, but she and Frankie are hiding under the docks. Carla creates a diversion by letting a small boat sail across the water to make Margot think she is there. Margot shoots at it but then later sees Frankie under the dock when the dog spots them and tries to shoot the boy. But before she can do that, Carla pulls Margot underwater, who wildly fires at the dog on her way into the water, killing the dog. After a struggle, Carla manages to strangle Margot and eventually lets her drown. Carla passionately hugs Frankie afterwards. Carla goes back to the barn for the other two girls. A man who claimed to be Margot's neighbor enters the barn with a shotgun after hearing commotion. Carla tells him that Terence and Margot kidnapped children, though the man claims they wouldn't do that, having known them for over a decade. Carla shows them there are more abducted kids up there and he gets his gun down to help them down. He calls to the children by their exact number and refers to them as girls. Which prompts Carla to take a shovel and says that she never told him how many and never told him they were girls. Realizing he's part of the kidnappings, before he could pull his gun on her, Carla swings a shovel at his face and kills him. Telling him he took the wrong kid. The police arrive and bring Carla and the kids out safely. We then hear news reports about how Carla has stopped an international trafficking operation, with arrests being made in places like New York, Paris, and Dubai, and Carla being praised as a hero. The movie ends with a slideshow of Carla and Frankie. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.